And now it's time for our media review portion of the show, or as Professor Van Helsing calls it, The ghastly paraphernalia of our beneficial trade. Can you see now why we cast John Johnson as Abraham Van Helsing? He's the best, and it's not even close. All right, for our media review today, (sighs) we are doing Dracula 3D. It was released in 2012. It was directed by Dario Argentino. It was also written by him. It stars Thomas Kretschmann, Marta Gastini, Asia Argentino, and another notable member of the cast is Rutger Hauer. I honestly don't know where to start on this. I suppose honesty is the best medicine. I watched this for a total of 10 minutes, and then I tried to think about it, and honestly, no words in the English language came to my mind. So I tried again. I made it 8 minutes. (sighs) I went around the internet and looked at clips. I looked at posters, and I don't know who on God's green earth gave this thing a green light. Whoever greenlit this production should stand on trial for crimes against humanity. That's how bad it is. I understand that the media landscape is chock full of bad film, but this, this, this takes the cake. This is an absolutely shameful production. It's even more shameful because Thomas Kretschmann has actually done good work. The Pianist is one of my favorite films. He is amazing in it. And if you haven't seen The Pianist, go see it. This thing. It's unwatchable. It's boring. The script is terrible. The directing is even worse. The 3D, these effects, they look like something that's been done by a child. And that's actually offensive to children to say that. It's awful. And on IMDb, this thing has a 3.6. And then I was curious why this thing got so high. And in the breakdowns, 203 votes gave this thing a 10 out of 10. And honestly, those 203 votes have to be from the cast or crew. They have to be. Because it, it's, it's just awful. I don't know why you would, but you could possibly watch it on Netflix. But if you do so, I would, I would probably have to question your sanity and your self-esteem. This is a film that's so unwatchable. This film is so bad that it makes B-movies look like Oscar winners. I can't even call it a B-movie. Are there C-movies, D-movies, G-movies, Z-movies? I can't. Because at least with B-movies, there might be something interesting to look at. They had a show called Mystery Science Theater 3000 where they spoof bad movies. And... This thing, I don't even know how they could get through this thing. It, it's, I can't even recommend it as toilet paper. I can't recommend it for anything. But we've done justice to it, and that is Dracula 3D. How in the world I got through this review without passing out out of boredom or running screaming from the room, I'll never know. 